Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you four high ground retakes that you need to know in Chapter 2 Fortnite. Also, in this video I included a hand cam. Let me know if you guys want to see more hand cam videos when I show off techniques, as I'm happy to do that if you guys do enjoy it. Finally, last thing before we start, if you go on to enjoy this video and think I deserve it, I'd appreciate it a ton if you could drop a like and subscribe, and consider using code TECO in the Fortnite item shop to support me even more. Without further ado, let's get started with the first technique. Alright guys, so this first retake is actually one that I found on my own a while back, probably about two or three weeks ago, and I've started using it. I'm not sure if anybody else has actually done it before, but let me know in the comments if anybody has so I can give them proper credit. But anyway, the way you want to start this is by doing a basic ramp tunnel, and you're going to do a 180 degree turn with a cone on top, just like this. So there should be one ramp with a cone above it. Next thing you're going to want to do is open your wall and go all the way around just like this. Floor, ramp, and a ramp above you. And then edit through and then from here you can basically do whatever. You can do some 90s, throw up a thwipe cone or anything like that. So yeah, this retake is super helpful and it's super well covered. So I'll show you a clip in full speed. Alright guys, so our second one, I just call it the Cone Jump Thwipo Cone Retake. So, it's obviously kind of similar to what it sounds, it's a little bit more advanced than just that. But let me show you guys. So obviously you're going to want to start by doing a scissor ramp like usual, and you're going to go until there's one ramp above you and one below you, similar to this. Don't go until there's one out, because then you'll be, it'll slow down your momentum. And what you're going to want to do is build a cone right above you and a cone to the right of that cone. And then you're going to want to jump out to the side with walls and go right here. So it should look something like this once you complete that. And the next thing you're going to want to do is do a side jump where you land on top of the on top of the ramp instead of landing on top of the floor. And you're going to throw up a quick Thwipo cone. And then from here you can either do some protected 90s, a 180, or anything like that. So I'll show you it in full speed. Alright guys, so our third retake, I call this one the misdirection retake. So basically it's going to be modified Thwipo cones. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a scissor ramp and we're going to throw up some Thwipo cones like normal. But instead of doing just straight up Thwipo cones, what we're going to do is we're going to edit out of some of them. So it'll look something like this. And basically this is supposed to cause your opponent to like, for example, they're like right above, right? They're continuing in this direction, and then you go over here, and it's confusing and all that. So yeah, basically it's supposed to trick out your opponent, sorta. And yeah, so I'll show you this in full speed. This one is kind of confusing, and it's going to take a lot of practice, but one extra tip for it is after you place your cone, you don't want to keep your cone out when you're editing the wall, because it'll just do this. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your pickaxe out instead. So if I try to do it while holding the cone, it won't let me. In fact, it'll probably pre-edit my cone. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open your pickaxe instead. And then do it. So yeah, it looks something like this. Alright guys, so our fourth retake is basically going to be a modified version of Face Sway Signature Retake. It's going to be a bit more horizontal, but it still covers you pretty well. So what we're going to do is we're going to be scissor ramping and we're going to place a floor and a cone above us and edit the right side of both. Then we're going to place a ramp coming off of here and another ramp to the side of it. If you look towards this angle, it should be pretty easy to do it. Anywhere from like here, like you can kind of go back and forth. Next what you're going to want to do is go up with a floor wall and ramp and jump and edit the side of this and then cones all around wall or sorry floor wall ramp with cones so basically ramps and then cones with the same same sort of thing so it'll look something like this and you can also do this version which is a lot harder mirroring it to the left this took me a lot lot more practice than the other one to complete 
But yeah, guys, this retake is super difficult. Um, doing it to the left and to the right, once you get the muscle memory down, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. So anyway, uh, let me show you it in full speed. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate it if you guys could drop a like and consider subscribing, and maybe even use code TECO in the shop if you'd like to support me even more. Let me know what you'd like to see next on the channel. I read every comment and will consider all of them. Finally, one last thing, if you do use my code in the shop to buy something, please record it and send it to me through Twitter or Instagram, both of which are TV underscore TECO so I can feature you in one of my upcoming videos. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Peace.